Hello and welcome to WASP 3D Feature Tutorial. In the following tutorial, users will learn how triggers can be used to initiate actions on player level, and on server level. We will showcase an example of how a name band moves up when a news update is played, and, returns to its original position once the update plays out. For this tutorial, we are using two pre-made templates of a name band and a news update. Here we have the first template of the name band.wsp with simple in and out animation. The second template is the news update.wsp with data linked to an Excel file. We begin by creating animation sets for the up and down animation. Press F7 and go to track view. Select animation set tab. Right click on default to create animation set. Then, define name and type. Float 3 in this case, as we would be applying it to the translation track. We want an absolute animation set as our position is defined. Please note that we can take a single animation set and place action controls, but, for this tutorial we are taking two animation sets. To animate, right-click and add keys. We want it to move from values 0, minus 234, 0 to 0, minus 155, 0. Then, right-click to add stop animation control action. Define the target as self. Select animation set name from the list and retain transform on. Now, we create animation set for down animation. Then, define name and type. Float 3 in this case, as we would be applying it to the translation track. To animate, right click and add keys. We want it to move from values 0, minus 155, 0 to 0, minus 234, 0. Then, right-click to add stop animation control action. Define the target as self. Select animation set name from the list and retain transform on. Now, let's open the news update.wsp. Here, we need to raise two triggers. One, when the template plays in, and second, when the template plays out. First, we will raise a trigger on scene queue. Press F9 to go to hierarchy pool and right click on scene graph.
Search for raise trigger control action. On the Custom tab, right-click and add a new trigger. Users can use a predefined trigger as well. Define the ID and name. Now select the created trigger. Set level to Sting Server Active Scene. Press Add. Next, from the track view, we will raise a trigger after add animation, and before play complete key. Now create and raise trigger for out. Set level to sting server active scene. Now, open name band.wsp to receive triggers. Please note that the triggers can be raised on track view button, gesture etc. but, will always be received at hierarchy pool scene graph level. Press F9 and go to hierarchy pool. Right click on scene graph and go to triggers. Select the trigger from the list and apply desired actions. Here, on trigger in, we want the name band to go up, so we will play animation set, translation up, on the name band group. Select transform, and then select translation track. On out trigger, we want the name band to go down, so on the main group, we will play the animation set translation down. Select transform, and then select translation track. Save template. Now, launch Sting Client and Sting Server. Drag templates to playlist by holding the Alt key. Next, double click to load instance to player. Play name band. On scene queue, name band moves up and we play newsupdate.wsp. Please note that to avoid manually playing newsupdate.wsp after name band moves up, user can raise in trigger at on track view instead of scene queue. And raise another trigger in name band.wsp on the animation track of translation up and receive that trigger to play newsupdate.wsp. Play newsupdate.wsp out and get name band back to its original position.